All right, gonna make uh, another quick video of the Honda XL 350. Um, got the uh, front brake cable and the clutch cable put on. Uh, ordered those through ProMotion. Uh, had them uh, made to length. I measured them and they built them, put the right ends, everything on them. Uh, they turned out turned out nice. I mean, they've both of them work great and um, really really turned out nice. They were, like I said, I think about 100 bucks uh, for the two of them with shipping and everything, but. Uh, uh, they're nice. I mean, they turned out perfect. So, um, I did take the front forks back off and got my headlight mounts on. Um, I'm going to have to put some spacers on both sides. The headlight's just a little narrower than these brackets. Um, that's not too big a deal. Get that done. Uh, the other day I put gas in her and, um, fired it over and it ran well. I got the wires just kind of hooked up for now. I'm going to probably use the same wiring harness, uh, I know I'm going to use the ends and stuff and just pull the wires I don't need out of it. And, you know, if I need to shorten some of it and make it work. Um, really not going to be too bad. I mean, I'm just going to be running a headlight and the uh, brake light. So it's not not too bad to wire up. Um, uh, when I've got fuel in it, the carb, I think the bowl gasket, I believe, is what's leaking on it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to pull it off find out where it's leaking. But I'm, I'm thinking it's coming from up here uh, along the bowl. So, but... As you can see, it ran down onto my motor and stripped the paint here and a little spot there. So uh, I'm going to tape that back off, get it repainted. Um, not real sure why that paint came off. It's supposed to be, or you know, work with fuel and oil. Uh, I know the other bikes I painted with it, I didn't have any issues. So I'm not sure if it just wasn't completely cured. It's been cold uh, or what. But anyway, I'm going to clean it up again and... Uh, tape that off, repaint those couple spots, and hopefully that'll take care of the problem. But um, other than that, uh, like I said, it's been cold, so I haven't had a chance to really do any fiberglass work. I'm kind of excited to do it. It'll be the first time I've really done anything with fiberglass and get the seat pan built. Um, had some other projects for some other people I've been working on, so getting close. That one over there is done. This one here, I've got brakes left to put on it, so I'm just waiting on parts to come in so as soon as they're done uh, probably after the first of the year I can get back out here and start working on this uh, I'm excited or ready to get it running and ride it around I think it's gonna be a pretty cool little bike but anyway that's where it's at right now thought I'd make a quick video it's been a while so um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask and uh, please subscribe thanks for watching